Hey guys, this is Ben Wolf. Welcome back to another brand new Clash Royale video. I'm sorry I've been missing for two weeks because I was busy with some of the events happening through my life, but never mind, we are back here in Clash Royale with the new update, which is it's very sweet. So today I'll bring you a brand new 12 wins grand challenge deck that I saw from TV Royale by a very famous player called Lilith. He's actually one of the he's actually the champion in Sang, uh, Shanghai tournament last year, which is a very skillful player. So we got 12 wins and zero losses in, with this deck and I totally enjoy it. This is the deck right here, okay? This deck we have three epics, one rare, one common, and three legends. I understand if you don't have all the legends or the epics to level four. If you don't have them, then maybe you can learn to play, uh, learn the play style of this this kind of card. What's their strength and their weakness? Because you might have to use them in the upcoming Bandit Draft Challenge. Can't wait to play that. If you have those epic cards and legends, definitely at max level at tournament, definitely try it out after watching my videos because this deck is very good in this current meta. So now let's quickly jump into the deck explanation. So first, uh, this deck we have to categorize it as a control deck. Okay, as you can see in my, if you can see in my gaming later that none of this card, none of the cards here, uh, is actually a good starting hand card. Like you can't start with uh, Pekka or uh, Executioner, um, Electro Wizard, Minions, and Battle Ram. It's not so good. You can do some of them sometimes, but if you want to play at super play safe, you want to. Uh, react to what people uh, react to what people uh, play first. So if they play a giant behind, obviously you play a Pekka. If they play um, a Mega Mini in the middle, you play your Electro Wizard, something like that. You want to play control style because this deck is quite heavy at 3.9 Elixir without the Elixir Pump. So we have to explain each uh, card's role before I jump into the replay. For this deck, actually the key winning condition over here is the Miner, Battle Ram and the Executioner. This tree is the key winning condition. The Pekka, you should play it like the Infernal Tower or a Sparky. When people place their tank, you can place a Pekka to immediately kill their tank. Let's say they have a Golem, you have, they have a Giant, your Pekka is going to be extremely useful to counter that. So when the Pekka goes to the enemy lanes, you want to support it with your Executioner or your Log. Don't support it with the Electro Wizard because it will just get countered by a lot of Swami cards. I strongly prefer to use this two, or even with the minions. I, I, I try not to use the minions. Executioner and Lock is very good. So the good part about the Executioner is obviously um, the AOE has been increased by I think 10 to 11 percent aerial effect of the of the X, but the mini stun has been removed, which is much needed. So the card is much more balanced now. It's still very very strong with the usage of Tornado. I will show you later. So basically, there's that. Uh, this deck is good against a uh, lock bait deck as well because you can use your uh, Electro Wizard to kill the uh, Golden Barrel to kill the Hot Rider. The lock can kill the Golden Barrel and lock and anything else. The Executioner is a very good defend defending card as well. This deck is also very good against Lava Loon because you have a uh, one two three counter units and you have a tornado that can counter so uh, some weak part about this deck is obviously you can see here it doesn't have a big spell so you have to always defend a huge push with your um, executioner and tornado if they have enough elixir they can invest a lightning and lock to kill your executioner then it's you are in a very big trouble if that's the case and then uh, doesn't have a big spell also when you are playing against uh, elixir collector deck your miner is your only counter to the pump but if they can guess your miner placement with the skeleton then even your lock couldn't be able to uh to support it you might need to use your tornado so the deck is something like that i'll jump into the first replay so you get to see how awesome this deck is let's go all right first game versus Urans from a japanese clan he's playing a lock bait deck if i'm not wrong so for my starting hand i i, I can start with the battle ram to see what cards he has so uh, normally I was I'll just wait for what what he does over here. So I, I play patient here if I'm not wrong. Yes, and then I place the minions to kill the um uh, uh, goblin barrel, and then I place a battle ram for counter push. He used a goblin which I've totally ignore. Um, he also used a princess. We use a tornado to kill the skeleton army and drag the uh, princess or orbs can do some damage over there. Orbs get three slash over there which is good damage and we force out his lock his goblin didn't do anything on the right lane so which is good we are leading elixir but i don't want to play too cocky so i place uh, my backup all the way behind because i'm leading on elixir 
If I don't, I normally don't do that. So we use a uh, lock to clear out the Golden Barrel and the uh, Hawk Rider. He's already going to get one punch. He's going to get two punch over there. So that's fine. We just have to support our push on the left lane over here. He plays a uh, Princess. We know that he's using a lock bait, so probably he has the Skeleton Army. Actually, he just used it. So we use our... Uh, as a general, we worked out very well. We as a general, we kill the goblin, we kill the skeleton, and then, but they are still doing quite a lot of damage to our pack out over here. We send in the miner to cover, so over here, which is nice. We kill the princess, and then we're gonna tank for our electro wizard just for a while. So now he doesn't have any cards to defend. He uses he uses uh mega minion. He uses a uh, uh, skeleton army. That's why I put the battle ram over here. He got no card to defend on his hand. I don't hit the tower. He used a fireball, which is nice. My Barbarian didn't get any stress, but that's nice. So we win a lot of Elixir over there and we get the charge damage of 469 on the tower. So we are having a huge lead over here. Uh, we know that they are going to push again with the Hawk, but that's fine because we can use the same trick with defend. We can use the Log and the uh, uh, Minions or Electro Visit to defend. We can even use the Tornado to drag the Hawk Rider if we want to. So now he's going to place that trick, which triggers, which is nice. Is uh, Goblin get a lot of slash over there? Well played by him. So we're gonna do the same trick again. We're gonna place uh, uh, Executioner, and then uh, we're gonna kill his uh, Mega Minion. We use uh, Electro Wizard to support a very nice Fireball and uh, lock lock there by him. He's gonna use that. We can lock away our Battle Ram. It's not going to reach the tower, but that's fine because it's, we still get Barbarian, which is a lot of damage. His Mega Minion is too close to his tower. Our Executioner will just damage the tower and kill it. We don't have the lock over here, so we need to use minions, and then we use a uh, tornado. So the hot rider doesn't even touch our tower, not even one hit. Nice, uh, safe uh, electro wizard there to make sure everything was okay. So by here we just have to defend because we pretty much win already. We place a uh, executioner, and then we use a lock, which is that's why this deck is works so well against lock deck deck guys. And then we can always go for a counter push over here with this kind of. Uh, Remaining units over there, normally I'll place a battle ram and a miner to combo to push on the other lane. So there's that. So first game, that's it. Let's just jump into the second replay. Alright, second game versus NND MMB from other lane over here. This game was kinda a total, 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 total destroy a game over here. Uh, you can see later with how, how it turns out. So now we want to play passive again. So he throw a macro barrel, we use a lock. We even want to play passive over here, even, even though we just earn one elixir over there. Although the waiting time is different, so we can see that our elixir is actually the same, so we don't earn any profit over there while we are waiting his golden barrel to fly over. So now we use a miner to do some damage over there. He use a bomber, which I don't see at all, and then he uses a skeleton army, which is overreaction by him over here. He even used the electro wizard to support his push, even uh, ice spirit, so our Executioner will just eat everything over there. Well played. So uh, we're gonna do with the Electro Wizard. He used a Golden Barrel, which I don't think is smart at all because we can defend that. And then we can put a uh, uh, Battle Ram. We know that he has to spend a lot of Elixir to defend and then use a Skeleton Army. We use our Executioner to clear it and we know that we are leaving a lot in the Elixir. We even got one remaining uh, Barbarian and then we can use our Electro Wizard to kill the tower. That's why it's so strong about this deck. The Becca is not the main guy, that tree guy over there is strong. So that's why we put a Becca and then we use a minions to straight away push on that. And then we know that he's out of elixir over here. This game just go out of hand from here. Here's a, a ice wizard which cannot do much. Our Becca is really rich. The tower, the tower is gone. So as you guys as you can see on my first push, we have the executioner, we have the ram, we have the electro wizard. Those are very strong when they are going for a counter push because like for the ram, once the ram got cancelled and then the barbarians will be alive and then we can do a lot of damage just like that. I think this game is at the 9 wins so the opponent wasn't as skillful and then his deck is kinda 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 weird but never mind because uh, this game, this video I'm gonna show you 4 replays so we just wanna skip it fast over here. Just wanna show you the potential of the push of the ram with the electro wizard and the executioner is extremely strong. So he just gave up already, better ram hit the power one log and everything is just clear and we get a three pound victory over here. Very nice. So let's just let's jump into the third replay. Alright guys, last game was just Shen Yu from An Xiang Jia to a Chinese guy basically. This guy is very strong, he has 200,000 cards won, which is more than me. So uh, for this kind of hand, I just I can I can start with the ram. 
or I can start with the minor, but I try to play passive, so he plays with the ram. I was like, wow, someone is playing a ram like this, so it's nice. And then he's, he's gonna play a better ram with the graveyard, which is very strong. Uh, our minions can eat up the ram, no problem, but his uh, barbarian is still alive, so we need to lock away over here. He deal quite a lot of damage, which is well played by him. He deal like that's 1000 damage over there, which is surprise to me. Uh, so we go for a counter push, we use a better ram and a minor. He used uh, Inferno Tower to perfectly defend our push, well played by him. So we know that next time if we need to uh, break through his push, I mean his, his Inferno Defense, we need to have our Electro Wizard with us. Electro Wizard is very good as well because it can counter his battle ramp, so we need to do that. And then basically our P.E.K.K.A can only be used at this timing right now. I believe I use it right now because his, uh, his Inferno is gone, so we want to attack when we are able to. We want to cycle our card. We start the backup all the way from behind, and then we see what he does. He plays a Mega Minion. I should have placed uh, my Executioner, but I was thinking that oh, maybe my Electro Wizard can help out uh, with his Inferno Defense later. But you can see, he didn't even use elect uh, Inferno Tower, he used a Graveyard to defend. His tower already locked on my Pekka, so my Pekka is receiving huge damage. Uh, actually, very good defense by him. So we push on with the advantage, not really advantage for remaining counter push, but we use a battle ram to defend. We use a greedy really tornado which doesn't work at all. If we if we have ex executioner, then it will work very well. We even got forced to use our lock over here to defend, so our tornado was totally wasted over there. So he is leading in the elixir, so we need to play passive. But he just used his graveyard though, so we know that he cannot rush even though he wants to. He plays a uh, knight, so we're gonna place a Pekka to eat up his knight freely. We place a Pekka in the middle of the map, so when he walked up, uh, we can burst this together. And then our Electro Wizard can just spawn now to kill his uh, Mega Minion, but he used an Inferno instead, which is funny, I think. So we need to keep, we need to defend the graveyard already. The Executioner increase of AoE seems to be worked out over there, which is nice. We use the Executioner and the Minions to clear out his uh, Inferno over there and the Battle Ram because we need to clear the Inferno in order to uh, advance to the other side of the lane. We try to control all the pace here in the middle of the map. We know that he'll place a Mega Minion so our Executioner can just uh, wreck it with the Tornado. Our Executioner is being unharmed which is nice. He's full Elixir already but he can't do any because he got three, one Battle Ram and three spell over there. Our Electro Wizard will kill the ramp and then we can use the minions. He doesn't even have enough Elixir to support his breakup, which is nice. We can go for a counter push with our minor over there. And then we are not going to yes, you can we are not no, we are not going to do the uh, tornado over here. We use uh battle ramp to bait out his uh inferno, which is nice. So we can place our Pekka right now after his Inferno Tower is out. The Pekka is coming out ready and then he used a graveyard defense again if I'm not wrong. Oh my god, this graveyard actually can 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 defend the Pekka. I find it extremely interesting. We use the minions to help out, but then his poison will just kill everything over there. Very good poison by him. We send in a miner, we're gonna get two slash, we're gonna get four, five chops. Then we're gonna start defending over here. We know that he's gonna counter push. We use the executioner to take care of the knight and the ram, and then we can, we can even use our electro wizard. We have to use a lock over here because if it doesn't have our minion, the lock will hit the ram, which is nice. The ram doesn't hit our tower. Well played. So now we need to go for a last, last push. We have a huge counter push over here. We send in the miner, and then our electro wizard can just damage the electro wizard, which is perfect over here. We use electro wizard to defend, which is nice. We get a lot of cheap damage over there. It's not the last push, actually. We still have to go for it. So we're gonna do again. We're gonna put the ram. We're gonna put the electro wizard, and then we're gonna ready our uh. Tornado. We use a tornado and then our veteran still cannot hit the tower, but that's fine. We still got remaining units over here. We're gonna send in the miner, the electro wizard will distract the inferno again, and then our miner can just get a lot of chipping damage on the tower. Very, very good value over there. Uh he's gonna do the same thing again, but he doesn't have the elixir. So we just have to uh repeat rinse and repeat battle ram, minions, and then we use uh Tornado over here, we use a knight to defend and uh mega minion. Our ram already reached the tower and one lock will finish the game. It's a long game actually, so uh, playing versus this kind of deck uh, versus this Chinese guy is that I know that his deck is like that already, so I need to control the pace and then keep on pleasuring to him at the end. So that's how, how we get on 12 wins and this deck is totally surprised and very interesting to play. To play. So yeah, this is the last game. This Chinese guy over here, Sun Yu, he's 6,400 ladder games, which is a lot. 
and then barely 200,000 kilowatt uh, cuts one is still very strong though he's using kind of similar deck right now but that's fine well played to him also so let's open our 12 wins chest let's see what we can get actually I should save it to bandit challenge now it can't, it can't be saved so long so let's just open get a lot of gold commons 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 musketeer Again, I, I want more goblin gang Give me goblin gang tornado nice skeleton oh my god we don't even get legend last card is all epics we don't even get goblin gang seriously let's get what card we can get prince okay let's see fine oh there's only there's only oh there's a there's, yeah, there's already 11 epics over here so here's a summary for you guys so as i said i will show four replays in this game i mean in this uh in this in this video the last replay i want to show is uh where i got around actually when i when i won the game it was a hundred 100 plus in the world, I think 170, but the game was extremely close versus a very skillful player. So it was my ladder match. This is the game. Uh, I was playing against Smalls from Mega Stars. He is a pretty good player as well, 5,400 trophies. So uh, we are. I'm playing the Duarco uh, Giant Hawk Rider deck versus his uh, Hawk Cycle deck with Inferno over there. Definitely reminds me of Jason's deck over here. So let's just jump into the ladder gameplay, max ladder gameplay. All right, so the game was just small for this game. Obviously, I just want to go rush <laughs> with this starting hand. I can I can send a hot rider, but I just want to rush anyway. So I use the hot rider and the minions to push. If I'm not wrong, yes, we push on the right lane, and then he used the infernal to defend. We don't even bother to zap over there. Uh, our minions will finish the infernal tower, and our minions get to fly over to the tower and do quite a lot of damage over here. Actually, it was totally worth it. We were just behind Elixir by one. We do seven, uh, six hundred damage over there. Awesome. So we're gonna defend with his uh, Ice Golem. He's gonna place his Musketeer. We ready our Fireball and Lock over here. His Musketeer is slowly working out of range, but our Lock push him, push her back, and then we use a uh, Fireball to do damage over there, which is nice. He's gonna push her away. We're gonna use our Skeleton to defend, and we're gonna use our Minions to defend. The Skeleton could have been better placed though if I place it behind. The Hulk Rider wouldn't be able to get two shots over there. So he used a Clutch Ice Spirit to freeze everything over there. Perfect defense by him. I know that he has his Inferno on hand, so I want to use my Hulk Rider naked. So I get Earn 1 Elixir over here, and after bait out his Inferno, I can use my Giant. Which, uh, this is how you want to play this kind of deck. You know, I already know that what kind of card that he has on hand already, so I want to bait out the card, and then gonna make my advantage afterwards. So I place a giant all the way from behind. He know that he need to cycle all the way back to another inferno. He plays a very fast push over here. We place a musketeer and then we use a lock to clear out everything behind over there. So his hot rider can get two hits over there if I'm not wrong. One hit, two hit, so that's fine. Or oh, three hit over there, good value by him actually. We don't want to use the minions because we know that he has his uh, fireball on hand. I do a push over here. But actually, it didn't work well, but that's fine. Our musketeer is already shooting on the left side, so we get both sides tower, uh, get down on damage. We are kind of similar over here with a slight, slight advantage on the left lane. So now, we know that uh, we need to push immediately because he just used his inferno. We can straight away use our giant. We use a musketeer to kill the hot rider, use the ice period, and then we ready to zap, to zap off his skeleton over here. To zap, to zap off the skeleton, and then our... Giant get 3 2 punch over there. We use a fireball, we use a fireball, and we do a lot of damage on the left side of the tower. We are having a lead again. So now, he's gonna push again. We're gonna use our Hot Rider, and then we use a minions. His lock, lock, uh, his lock totally didn't hit anything. We cycle back to our zap, and then we zap the tower and the skeleton. We get 2 punch over there, which is good value. 1 fireball and 1 lock will kill the tower over here. So if we play safe, we could have won easily. But then our fireball missed everything and then his hot rider already reached the tower with the with the with the five ball he get the tower actually well played by him honestly well played so now we are on a total evil ground over here on the right side we are almost the same we send in the hot rider he use uh skeleton sword we zap it away we can get one punch two punch over there and a fireball damage very nice so we're gonna lock away his musketeer and do some damage when he's gonna push over here and then uh his fireball is gonna do some damage to the tower we use a skeleton which is not good at all, the placement. So he get two swing over there. We send in a hot rider, but his lock and uh, infernal tower proved to be have very good value over there. We use a useless 
uh, lightning and log over there. And then he got a lot of damage over there. He get two punch and one fireball. One fireball, we are lost already. So we need to fast. When our Alexa go to eight, we straight away push with a giant and a minion because he just used his fireball. He used his uh, inferno to defend, but that's fine. We're gonna do all the damage on a tower. We use the fireball. We use a log. And then we use a zap. Can we win over here? It's actually because we use a zap as well. We're gonna get one punch and then fireball comes here. Oh my god. GG. This game is so close versus small. Even we, we only left eight seconds over there until the game is over or his fireball just hit me and then we just gg up so definitely good game was the smalls for mega stars close game it could go either way uh i should have played better when on the left lane to defend it uh his hot rider and musket push and then just finish with the fireball but that's fine it turned out good eventually so yes my first ladder gameplay on my youtube channel so i hope you like them i hope you guys like this episode oh this episode i'm wearing this black color Aura Gaming hoodie as well. We don't even have the... We, we actually have the white color, the black color, and the navy blue color. If you like them, I'll link them um, in my description below. You can check it out later in our website. So guys, so this marks the end of today's video. I hope you'll enjoy them. And I'll see you in my next video, probably with the Bandit Draft Challenge, which is going to be a breeze. Alright? See you guys next time. Peace out.